hello my friends and welcome to my channel thank you so much for being here if you are new here my name is Karina and I'm so happy you're here so today we are going to be I'm going to be demonstrating how I blow out my hair how I curl it like trying to be super quick and concise in my information in here so we don't take forever to show you uh, but this has been a highly requested a video um, for the longest time I have a ton of other hair tutorials here on different lengths so my hair ones like super short like um, uh, bob cuts and curls and then um, when my hair was super super long I have voluminous blowouts a ton of content for you guys so do make sure uh, to check that out if you enjoy hair kinds of contents but um, right now my hair is kind of like in a medium length and you guys have been asking so much uh, what I'm doing lately and I have I seem to be wearing it a little more parted in the middle like with just this soft curls here and uh, I do enjoy it so that's what I've been doing lately and you guys have been asking so much one thing um, I, I will be chatting up with just a tiny little bit about the curl ID, the T3 new um, technology, which is more of like a smart curling iron. Um, it helps you to decide what temperature is best for your hair, so do stick around for that. Um, for my hair, I'm going to be linking all of the products and tools that I use down in the box below, as well as on my blog, karinasayadaris.com. So anyway, you guys, if you are into this type of content, do not forget to leave me a thumbs up right away because that helps me so much in um, spreading the word about the channel. Um, do, do subscribe to the channel and ring the bell here um, if you want to see videos firsthand before anybody else. Uh, this is also a sign that you're enjoying this type of content and I can create more. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's get to it. Oh, this is the hairstyle that we will be recreating today. So, um, hope you guys are into it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start by just combing my hair wet. I usually use a microfiber towel. Kind of wrap it around to take the excess water out Maybe for about 10 minutes or less even sometimes much less than that um, and just comb through so here I want to give you an overview a little bit of an overview of the products that I actually love and use all the time so for starters, Better Not Younger is a line that it's for uh, women um, with older hair. So older women, they, they come from a place that you don't just age on your skin. Our hair ages as well. And so it's targeted for like 50 and up. I am 41 um, and I've been using this since I was actually before 40, like 39. And I actually really, really like this. So this is a hair growth serum. I don't know, like, I can tell you if this is making my hair grow fast or whatnot. I don't really, like, I don't know. I didn't take a before and after photo or anything like this. I just feel like, I don't know, it's I'm doing something, you know what I mean? And my hair uh, is healthy. In, in fact, I feel like it's better than ever. Um, so it could be for like a series of the reasons, you know, like for doing less bleaching and uh, less like treatments. But um, this is like a fortifying scalp treatment. And they actually have read, I've read a lot about the scalp treatments and how um, it's really a must for us to treat our scalp and not just the hair because that's where the hair comes from. So there's a whole like, bang about it <laughs> and I don't want to get too much into the detail here because that's not the purpose of this video but if you guys are interested in me talking more about um, scalp treatments in hair um, products in general let me know on the comments below now another product that I use so much especially because my hair is unruly it is thick it is freezy <laughs> And, and all of the above is this little Ori bit product here. This is like it came highly recommended by my um, by my hairstylist Abby, and um, she actually gave this to me, and I love it. So I do a little pea size, and this is a um, pre workout or pre workout pre blowout. 
cream um, usually she puts it right here on the roots where they tend to get um, pretty frizzy for me and then I just bring it all down try to put it all over the hair you guys I'm like my face is super shiny in here and it's my Gucci gel <laughs> and I love it like I just feel like so glowy and young this stuff is the bomb if you guys have not seen this I have a full review I'll leave the video down here so you guys can check it out as well um, and then another better not younger this is more of like a um, spray for pre blowouts as well so I tend to use this when my hair is starting to get like dry when it gets close to uh, the end of the blowout you will see that but right now I'm just gonna spray a little bit all over and then call it a day and then I'll have like a, an after blowout or after styling products that I also like oh this guy here I use a ton too um, actually I think it's just finished it is this is the shampoo line that I love the most is a L'Oreal expert series I'm not gonna use it today because I already I use either or okay don't put a ton of products in your hair especially if you have thin hair because it just does not last like the a little bit goes a long way when it comes to hair products so I'm just going to here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to um, blow out my hair I'm not gonna film the whole thing and I part the hair just basically like middle and up and then I start like letting down some layers and I have to dry mine in pieces because it is so much hair that I have and it's so thick um, so you can do you can adjust according to your thickness and you know the amount of hair that you have uh, for me it just works when I'm doing my blowouts these are the two brushes that I'm actually using for the style that I have been wearing as of late so this is not like a super thick brush this is probably like a, a gosh an inch and a half I want to say and this is just a flat uh, petal brush so this is for the ends and this is for the rest of the body when I'm doing blowouts that are voluminous I tend to go up you know so it can like lift up from the root if I'm doing this um, like a more flat style I'll go like down and then for up here as well I will change the camera position when I get to the top it's just like my space is a little limited here but I'm gonna try to do my best in here so bear with me and let's do this I'm gonna show Okay, you guys, so this is the very last bit of it. Um, I actually got, it was super fast. So here's what I mean when like my hair is about, like it's starting to dry, like the curl, it's starting to like build up a curl. Um, I usually like to go and spray the little heat spray, heat protection, right on the root of the hair. And then some at the ends in here so for this one I'm just gonna divide it like like this I usually separate the bangs from the rest of the hair I don't have much of a bangs but just a little bit make much bangs happen whatever it is that I'm trying to say so first I'm gonna go and dry up just because my hair is curly if your hair is straight you really you can just keep it and go straight to like down okay building um drying it up it gives a little extra body on the hair
blowout. So if your hair naturally dries like this, you can totally skip the blowing out um, part of things. Um, and if you can, obviously, um, if you can blow it out like this, like a little more straight, even though it doesn't look great, um, I would, I would recommend just doing it so before we actually go on with the, the curling iron as you can see even though the hair is um, you know a little flatter it still has a lot of body in it so just like just so you can see the starters you know the starting product now I'm going to heat up the curling iron and divide the hair and then like give you a step by step okay so this is the new t3 curl id and then to turn it off you just um put your fingers right here or put your finger right here on the little light hear that and then it's going to start heating it up as you can see like the little lights in here so the deal with this is like it is a smart curling iron and it's uh, supposed to have the perfect heating set for your hair based on your hair thickness if it's fine if it's like straight if it's curly uh, if it's thick or um, based on chemical treatments and hair dyes so there's like several different options in here that you can go and click on i have mine manually because i do have a lot of like dye and chemicals and all of that stuff and so for me the heat it's like a little lower than i like it to be i like it on the highest setting um but then i leave it for like just a couple seconds on my hair i don't like leave it there i've tried with them um, with their like perfect setting for me and it, it works fine but the curl just just doesn't last as long as i like it for it too so that's just something to keep in mind if you are not happy with the setting that it comes up for you you can always just go in a manual um, dial and just manually adjust the heat temperature um, or the temperature for for your hair so while it heats it up in here and it will tell me just quickly um, I'm going to go ahead and divide my hair so for this I don't curl the whole thing you guys I just take the top part or the top layer up just like I did to blow it out and then I am going to go around and like curl most of it um, just so you guys know for the front parts in here I try to get like just a little bit of hair so pieces um, smaller pieces and then leave it like last time so I'll show you here for instance on this one and then another thing is to curl it away from your from your hair from your face and then let it go on the at the ends I'll show you one more time so curl it away one two and then kind of like come out so that's basically what I'm gonna be doing uh, I will curl one more like one or two of them to the opposite direction just to add a little body to the hair and like I like to pick up one from down here too so I'll show you what I mean by that like for instance this one I'm just gonna go ahead and um, curl it to the opposite side so just one or two and do you see how quick like I'm not fast forwarding this it's like I'm literally going as we speak it's just so fast you go you curl and then boom you're out Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing on the rest of this on this side in here. 
and then I'll be back with the top layer for you guys. Okay guys, so this is what the little curls <laughs> look like. We're just gonna let it be and not, um, not run our hands through it or anything because you want it to wait for it for you want to wait it for it to cool down. So here's I'm just saving the very very top of it, and be careful not to make a dent on the hair. So same thing here. We are going to just pick up smaller parts of the smaller sections and do the same type of um, quick curl. Then one facing forward. Two facing backwards. Okay guys, so same thing here. Just let it be. And then divide the hair wherever you want it to be. If you're gonna part it on the sideways, this is the time you wanna do that right now because then you're gonna curl your hair in a way that your the curl's gonna lay um, nicely, e either in the middle or um, on the side. I usually, when I blow out my hair, I usually don't like to pick a side. I usually part it in the middle and so I can flip, but with the curl, it doesn't work like that because then the curl's gonna be like, you know, swooping, just kind of like unflattering in an unflattering way. Also, when you are curling, try to curl it down and don't hold that first curl too much because then it will be lying on, on your head a little unflattering as well. For this last layer also, one more thing to note is that you do not want to do the flip on the other side. You just, I tend to just go it uh, backwards because otherwise it's going to be weird right up here, if that makes any sense. One more, one more tip. If you guys do have some frizz in your hair, this is the time that you want to like smooth out. So when you lay the, the curling, you can just like, it's almost like a flat iron, kind of like smoothing out that frizz and then let it cool off. So this is kind of like what it's gonna look like for the next 10 minutes or so. Do the same thing on the other side. If you find strands of hair that are like uncurled, this is a good time to go ahead and curl them as well. It happens, you know, sometimes we do miss a few of them. So just make sure to grab them. Okay guys, so after you curl, this is what your hair is basically going to look like. Um, you just, you do need to be patient <laughs> and let it cool off for a little bit so that way it will stick around. Uh, one of the, the products that I really like to use is this Oribe um, Flash Foam. This is like a spray wax. Um, it's actually really, really nice. It smells amazing like all of the Oribe products, uh, but this one's especially good for frizz on top of the head. Um, if you do not like too crunchy, because this is definitely going to add some texture to your hair, um, I recommend the fine hairspray that they have just to go from how... Actually, in fact, let me go get it. So yeah, this is actually my favorite hairspray in the world, the su super fine um, from Oribe. It's actually amazing for any type of texture hair, um, especially good for fine hair too, but it works so well in my uh, hair te texture. So this is what we're gonna do. Before I run my fingers through it, I'm just gonna go around and do a little spray. 
and then you can definitely like run your fingers through it and kind of destroy those curls but still keep the texture of the hair it is just so shiny and then for this guy here i usually do the frown section especially if there's um the flyaways And here you have it, you guys. So the day after it, it's actually gonna be even softer, like not as voluminous and more of that one kind of like long wave that I have usually on my hair because rarely I have it like fresh washed the hair. But this, the cool thing about this uh, method or this technique of curling is that it will last. So like the curve, curve, or semi curl will last for days. So usually I wash my hair like twice a week. Um, I try to go for once a week if I don't go to uh, hot yoga, but if I do, then it's twice a week. Sometimes three times, but I try not to. Like it's best not to overwash your hair. It needs its natural oils in order to thrive. And obviously you can always take really, really good care of your scalp for uh, you know optimum growth. And that's why I love the scalp serum so much. Um, but yes, that's that's what it is. I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, video. And um, if I did forget to mention anything, please uh, let me know on the comments below. Do not forget to leave me a thumbs up like I mentioned before. And thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Um beijo. Ciao, ciao.